this short video, I'd like to show you how you can use uh, the app uh, to make your mobile phone or your tablet computer into a data entry machine. Let's start the app. I will show you this on this little simulator. And um, here you can change on this button between German and English. On the top you have a couple of forms which are already um, provided. And let's try this wilderness form. We select it and say we want to see the collected data. I already inputted a little bit of data. Uh, so with the control buttons up here you can uh, jump through the data. Uh, first, second, third data set. There aren't too many and if we want to add a new data set you just press a new button and uh, you have a questionnaire. You say how many days you spend in the wilderness. Let's say person says four and the main purpose is hiking. Uh, so we select that. It's a family and they are with a car and so we can save this uh, as long as we started the new data you would stay in the new data entering mode which is indicated by this red line uh, otherwise you see two yellow lines if you just skip uh, through the data when you hit the next or last button again so when you're done you just press end so, but now you want to design your own form so that you uh, can do your own little questionnaire or whatever. Um, for that, we press this button, the new design form. And you see these pink bars indicating that you are in the designer. And now we will add on this screen down here, uh, we will add elements. Um, and the first element we want to add is a text element. Text elements just display some text. Let's say uh, we want to ask uh, for a party. Um, somebody wants to choose and uh, so we add this element and you see there comes this text party and now we add another element. And the elements are placed on a grid and this grid can be as wide as you want or as long as you want. So uh, I'm now in column two, and this time I want uh, a combo box, which is a box where we can choose something off. So we have to add the text we want to choose, and it's uh, Republican, Republican and Democrats, and we have to use a hashtag. Uh, Democrats. Uh, the hashtag is uh, for dividing these uh, words which were uh, where we choose from. If we had a third item, we just go hashtag and hashtag and hashtag. And then we can name the field or rename the field. Uh, we would say party, for instance. Uh, that's a name we will later have in the database where we find our data. So if we're done, we add the element and you already see we have party republican and we will add one more uh, uh, element Let's, and I want to go this time in row 2 and color 1 and it should be a text element and we want to say I want to have income um, and we have this element and uh, now we add another element where we can uh, put the income in which people will tell us so we want to have an input text where we can place a number and of course this should be empty and uh, we call it here uh, income and uh, so we add this 
element. So we can make this form longer and longer and take a while. So I will uh, now stop at this point and we just rename uh, the name of this form. Let's say it's uh, called uh, election. And uh, then we just, if we're happy with the form, we just save it. And now we should be able to see our form here. See, we have the election form here. I can select it. And now I can collect the data in the form. It automatically switches in the mode for new data. And we could say, OK, first guy is a Democrat. And he has uh, 2,000 euro income. And save. And then the next, and the next, and the next. So we can end it. And um, yeah, of course, you can also um, uh, delete forms. Let's say you're not happy with this German form, Umfrage. You can say, OK, delete selected form. And ask you, are you sure? And the form should be gone. So now we have three. We could also throw out the other one. And of course, we can also display a form or the data of a form which we collected. We can display it as HMTL. So we get a nice little uh, uh, we get a nice little H. HMTL um, table where all the data is stored in, and we can uh, zoom in and zoom out as we're used from uh, Android. Very important button is also the help button. If you find everything um, explained in this little uh, sheet, um, and there's also more information. Uh, on uh, on how you can work with the SQL uh, Lite database um, and uh, how you can even connect it uh, to your own data. So I think this was just a short example to show you uh, that it's really easy to make your own form and then uh, use it to collect data and of course you can at any point in time you can add data or delete data. Um, right now there's no check for forms um, for text fields uh, where you enter text or uh, numbers but uh, that will be coming up uh, soon. Okay thank you and have fun.